I don't know about you, but the first thing I think about when building a new structure outside of my house is, how am I gonna get Wi-Fi here? With almost everything today relying on technology, why shouldn't it be your first question? And honestly, it can be a struggle, but in this video, I'm gonna try to help you out by showing you two different methods on how to get Wi-Fi outside of your home. Back in 2018, I built my shop. Then this year, I added an outdoor kitchen. And my wimpy Wi-Fi coverage in the house doesn't reach either one of those as they are both beyond the reach of my router. This week, I got full coverage, super fast, reliable Wi-Fi with the help of Netgear. I found that they have top technology for any situation, large buildings, long distances, or areas where traditional internet service isn't an option. I'm gonna get into the exact details on installing each thing, but let me give you an overview first. For my house, I went with the Netgear's Orbi Wi-Fi 6 mesh system. For the outdoor kitchen, I added in a satellite to connect it to this router. Then for my shop, I went with the Orbi 4G LTE tri-band router, which converts a cellular signal into a Wi-Fi signal. Then I also have a satellite for the space since it's so large. Now, there are several tips I share at the end of this video on simple things you can do with your current devices, or at least that you can try out before buying new equipment. However, none of those things worked for me. Like most people, I was relying on devices that were a few years old, and a few years is actually a very long time in technology. So in my house, I installed the Orbi Wi-Fi 6 mesh system. Here's how it works. The router is connected to my incoming internet cable, just like the old router. But instead of providing one signal that can cover the entire house, it connects wirelessly with the satellites that extend coverage to every corner and even outdoors to my porch. Installing the system took about five minutes. The router is connected to my incoming internet cable, just like my old router. Once that's set up, now I can position the two satellites in different positions of the house to provide full coverage. I chose my master bedroom and a bedroom downstairs. However, it is worth noting that one satellite with this system can cover up to 5,000 square feet. And this will provide Wi-Fi speeds of up to six gigabits per second for over 100 devices. That means I can upload my next YouTube video while sharing a movie, while taking a video call if I wanted to and not have any issues. Let's do a speed test and test this device out. <laughs> Your internet's extremely fast. Thank you, Orby. Real quick, I wanna thank this video's sponsor, which is Policy Genius. If someone relies on your financial support, whether it's a child, an aging parent, or even a business partner, then you need life insurance. This is where you need Policy Genius. They make it easy to compare quotes from over a dozen top insurers all in one place. You could save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. And eligible applicants can get covered in as little as a week thanks to award-winning policy option rated number one by Forbes. I personally have seen my parents and grandparents benefit from life insurance, allowing them to withstand the cost of funerals and mortgages. Just head over to policygenius.com slash April to get started. And in minutes, you can work out how much coverage you need and compare personalized quotes to find your best price. You could save $1,300 or more per year on life insurance by using Policy Genius to compare policies. So head to policygenius.com slash April to start comparing quotes and simplify insurance buying. Big thank you to Policy Genius for supporting what I do. Next, moving on to my outdoor kitchen, which is about 80 feet from my house. I installed another satellite. At that distance, a wireless connection from the router in the house might have been good enough, but I wanted better than good enough. I wanted a connection fast enough to handle anything, including the ability to stream high def movies. Since the Orbi satellites can operate wirelessly or with an ethernet cable, I ran a cable from my house. This is a pretty simple job, but here are a few tips. The minimum cable standard you should be using is CAT 5E. I upgraded to CAT 7. It costs only an extra 20 bucks and I'm ready for high speed demands in the future. Before you run cable, test it for connectivity. Problems are rare, but it's awful to find out you have a bad cable after it's installed. You can test the cable by plugging it into a vise, but pick up a cheap tester for less than $10. I use cable rated for outdoor use. My cable is also rated for direct berry since I live on rocky ground. I've avoided hours of hard digging by fastening the cables to my boardwalk. Don't run ethernet lines right next to electrical cable. That can cause interference. Even worse, it can lead to voltage induction. Basically, that means extra voltage can travel through the ethernet cable, damaging devices, or even cause a fire. 
When running parallel, keep electrical and ethernet cables at least four inches apart. When cables cross, make it at a 90 degree crossing. And just for the heck of it, let's do a speed test. Now my shop that I built back in 2018 is over 300 feet from my house. And that is too far for a Wi-Fi signal. A cable trench is optional, but 300 feet of stone wasn't an option for me. But here again, Netgear offered an easy solution. The Orvi 4G LTE tri-band router is perfect for areas where traditional internet isn't practical. It doesn't need cables. Instead, it picks up a cellular signal just like a phone does. And it works with most of the major phone networks, data plans, and basically converts a cell connection into a Wi-Fi connection. Since my shop is so large, I also added a satellite, just like the ones in my house. Again, this whole job took less than five minutes. Just plug in a couple power cords, slip my SIM card into the router, and instantly I had fast, reliable internet in my shop. Here's a speed test I was using on the hotspot before the Orbi system. Ugh, those numbers are so puny. Now let's do a speed test with my new Netgear system installed. Now that is more like it. Before you go out and buy brand new equipment, a lot of problems can actually be solved by simply moving your router. So here's a little tips of do's and don'ts that you can try out before going and purchasing new devices. You don't wanna hide your router. Don't place it in a cabinet or a closet. It's bad for the router and the signal. Also, don't put it on the floor. Uh, think of your router as kind of a lamp but it cast a signal instead of light. You want it up on a desk or bookshelf so that it can project out into the room. If you set it on the floor, most of the signal is gonna be cast into the floor. So go ahead and just place it up a little bit higher. Also, a central location is important. The closer you are to the router, the stronger the signal. So place the router at one end of your house, it probably won't reach to the other. For whole house coverage, it's usually best to locate it in the main floor near the center but not in the kitchen. The kitchen is probably one of the worst places. It's full of obstructions, especially metal appliances that damage the signal. Also, when the microwave is running, it can kill the Wi-Fi signal. Finally, one of the best ways to increase Wi-Fi performance is to upgrade your internet service. Now, officially, you get better internet service by paying for it. However, you could call your uh, provider or go online and look for a promotion. Now, there's a good chance you'll be able to find a promotion that will give you better service without a higher bill. I wanna thank Netgear for supporting what I do and helping me get my situation here under control. It's really overwhelming with so much technology on the market to go and find these solutions on your own. But knowing that they exist and can solve so many problems, oh, it's worth its weight in gold when you have good internet guys, as I'm sure you know. I really hope that this video is helpful for you to get at least ideas on how you can solve your own problems, either as you're planning new outdoor buildings or to solve your internet connectivity issues with your current ones. So I've linked to everything I've used down in the description and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to also check out my website because I sell lots of useful things such as these fraction and decimal charts. They're not only cool shop decor, but they're also functional. If you're interested in getting yours, you can click right here.